<laughs> I got it all out of my system before we went live. Yeah, you did a little <laughs> shake. I know. Shake, rattle, and roll. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, good morning. Hope good everybody's morning. Thursday's going good. All right, so we were starting a conversation off air before we actually went uh, live here on the live stream. So we were ta- what were you we talking about now, Deb? We're technology. Technology. And you want me to talk about the intercom or you want to talk? <laughs> I guess I already mentioned it. So. <laughs> hey, what happened to that murder mystery, too, at the end? <laughs> <laughs> so you were talking about technology as far as something new. It was Scarlet with the rope <laughs> in the library. It was the butler with the <laughs> candlestick. <laughs> anyway. So yesterday I found out that with your iPhone, yes. you can turn it into an intercom. Somehow. Now. Okay. So you can basically with five, you know, like if you have people in your family yes. and you want to break in any like to their their Apple device. Right. You can use it like an intercom and say, hey, it's dinner time. So and so, you know, or whatever. Like they're upstairs doing their homework. You can break in on their phone and say it's dinner. And everybody knows in the house, wherever they are, it's yeah. dinner. Huh. Well, I you mean, know, no big cowbell anymore. Right. <laughs> You know that you can do that thing with your smart speaker, right? I don't have a smart speaker. But I mean, if you did. Right. right. <laughs> Play along, Deb. Okay. Look, you must be great at parties, you know? <laughs> well, I don't have that. <laughs> Come on, play along. <laughs> yes, if you had one... You can do what they call drop in. Okay, you can do a drop in. Well, yes. this would probably be the same idea. Only you just if everybody has, you know, an iPhone or an iPad, you know, yes. it will come in and give you your instructions. You can break in. So, Jeremy, Get back. the digital age break every chain <laughs> is the name of the song on Moody Radio. You know, sometimes we get in such deep conversations in our live stream that we forget where we are and who we are and what we're doing. I'm so thankful we have a technical producer right here. <laughs> That's right. Telling us what's up, keeping us. <laughs> and at yelling tune. at us. <laughs> but, you know, it was, we it was, need it. <laughs> it was effective. <laughs> so anyway, great to have you with us this morning. It is also National School Lunch Day today, or this week, School Lunch Week this week. Mm-hmm. And so we want to know what's your favorite school lunch of all time. So earlier this morning I gave one, mm-hmm. you know, the pizza. Yes. The square uh-huh. pizza. Now, this was one that I, and I still think about it to this day and can almost taste it. Really? Yes. Oh. Wow. And it's because, What is it? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> it is chili. Okay. Really thick, yummy chili okay. with a cinnamon roll on the side. All right. And I just loved it. I don't know what the combination, why it's so good, okay. but I just love it. Big hearty bowl of chili and a cinnamon roll. Okay. On the side. Wow. You're looking at me like I got three heads. You never had that? No. <laughs> never. I've well, had chili with cornbread. Yes. I've had chili with Fritos. I've, I've had, had chili with cornbread. I've, I've, I've had, had chili with Fritos. I've had chili with Ritz crackers. <laughs> and with Ritz crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I've been everywhere, man, but I but have haven't not. had it with cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is... Uh, uh-huh. I don't know. For some reason, it was just, mm-hmm. just so good. Mm-hmm. And it had just, I don't know, the, the frosting on mm-hmm. the, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. And he's still thinking about it today. <sighs> I'm still salivating, as a matter <laughs> of fact. Please get this man a bowl of chili <laughs> and, and a cinnamon, cinnamon roll. roll. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know your favorite school lunch, 800-221-9356. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yes. Mo is on the line. He's got a thankful Thursday he's calling in. All right. Well, let's talk to Mo. Hey, Mo, how are you this morning? Oh, we're doing pretty good. Good. Um, yeah. What are you thankful you for? My... Well, I'm thankful that, uh, that Deer and I didn't come together this morning. Uh, I'm not delivering my papers, so and I'm having to use my wife's car because... We lost the keys to my truck the other day. Oh, no. <laughs> it's one of those things. Yeah. I'm just thankful I got a car and it's still running good. Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Way to look on the positive side. That's right, exactly. <laughs> right. And 
another thing I'm thankful for was I never really had to put up with school lunches. Yeah. Because we never had school lunches until I got into high school. Right. And the high school was so crowded, they could accommodate us all in the cafeteria. Oh, wow. So they had what was called open lunch. Okay. And we were downtown, so during lunch hour, we just go to whichever burger place or pizza place we liked. There you go. Yeah, that's very cool. Wow. I like it. That sounds fun. It does. Well, thanks for calling in, Mo. Appreciate it. Be safe out there today. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, so Joe brought something up. Hi, okay. Joe. Hi, Joe. Pizza burgers. I forgot about those. I love Pizza those, too. Pizza burgers. I completely forgot. I oh. did love those when we had those with the mozzarella cheese on the top. And yeah. It, they tasted kind of like pizza but they were yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i remember that oh my friend paul runs us <clears throat> that'll get under jeremy's skin <laughs> hope they don't give you that <laughs> did i miss something <laughs> oh you did you'll have to go back and watch <laughs> i said my friend paul mentioned Runzas. And I said, that'll get under Jeremy's skin because you, yes, because of a different restaurant that you're familiar with. Nope. But Deb goes, I hope they don't give that to you. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> it's 7.09 on this Thursday morning. It's Ken and Deb here. Good morning. <laughs> Appreciate you being along with us. Hey, <laughs> We're oh talking about goodness. high school. Well, not just high school. Yeah, just school the lunches. School lunches as it's school lunch week. Yes. And, you know, think of those wonderful people that prepare our lunches for us <clears throat> and serve them. Today, kids have so many more choices. We oh, used yeah. to have like one choice a day. Right. And you'd have it on a little calendar. Right. Today is pizza day. Oh, today yeah, yeah, yeah. is. You know, I remember working at a small little station in a small market, and I used to have to read the school lunch menu every day oh. as part of the show. So, so kids would know what was coming up. So that was the beginning of your liking talking about food on air. <laughs> no, no, no. It was way before that. But that was feeding <laughs> that habit. Uh, anyway, but uh, <laughs> oh. yes. Anyway, so we'd like to know what your favorite school lunch is. Also, by the way, uh, we have a great tool for you to have that maybe you could, when you're eating lunch, you could read this. The Today in the Word mobile app. Is something else that we have for free. And you were saying there's some great stuff on there, not just the Today in the Word devotion, but there's other stuff too, right? Right. There are study guides that go with the Today in the Word devotional so that you can look up things like questions if you want to use them for like a discussion group. Nice. You could use them for a small group or around your table with your spouse or oh, there you go. your kids and ask the Very questions cool. after you read the devotional. I mean, I, that's one thing that I read. But there's other uh, like resources that are available surrounding the today in the to word devotional. To enhance your study. To enhance, yeah, to enhance the study of All the right. word as you go through the study every month. All right. So when you go to your wherever you get your apps at, look for today in the word, and you can download that thing for free mm -hmm. if you do it. Uh, well, anytime for that mm -hmm. matter. You can do it in the middle of the night if you want to. It's seven eleven. It's Ken and Deb here with Hope Darst. Here is Peace Be Still on Moody Radio. <laughs> oh my God. So. So, <laughs> Heidi says, <sighs> Bettendorf High School potato cinnamon rolls in 1972. They grilled them with butter if you wanted. Wow. I bet that would be delicious. That would be good. I used to want to put, I used to put butter on my cinnamon rolls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to but do that. But grilled them with butter. Oh, now. Wow. Now that, you're talking. That sounds really good. So, can I clarify <clears throat> with what my po friend Paul was talking about? Okay. A runza is like a cabbage roll. Oh, okay. And this is the type of cabbage mm -hmm. roll that has the dough on the outside, and then you have meat and okay. Uh, um, is it like sour a calzone? Inside. Well, kind of. Okay. But but they have different varieties too. Okay. You can get okay as well too. Anyway, and that is an Omaha area thing that they okay, still Nebraska. have there. Okay. And so my friend Paul and I worked together back in Omaha, and uh, that was one of the mm -hmm. kind of the. Omaha things. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that, that's what that's called. It's not a condition. It's actually what they, they call it. 
So somebody else on our on our texting was also chiming in too about okay. Oh Dave. Dave, Dave what said, do you say? Oh yeah, the big cinnamon roll. I would get a double. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and Becky said Canon Chili and cinnamon rolls is a Nebraska thing, which is interesting because I grew up in Montana, so it must be a Montana thing too. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. But uh, yeah, so that was good. So I'm not the only crazy one that likes <laughs> chili and cinnamon rolls. <laughs> you just don't have it often enough. You should. You no. should make some for yourself. I should. That's a great idea, Deb. I might even bring some in so you can experience it yourself. <laughs> and if I was really generous, I'd say I'd make it for you. <laughs> no, that's all right. I, I can do that. <laughs> Uh, oh, so Dave said hot beef or hot pork sandwiches uh -huh. and fried chicken and tacos. Wiener winks. Wiener. Wiener winks. Is that like the? <laughs> that gives a little <laughs> wink. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Here's your hot dog. <laughs> Joe was right. I need oxygen today. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <Here's your hot dog. laughs> Can you tell it's Thursday? We're a little slap happy today. It is. It's hard. I was so half awake when I got here. <laughs> I was watching, watching the live stream as it catches up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh, Heidi also mentioned that you can make sweet chili and yes. sugar to your chili. It's amazing. Okay. I've done that before, Heidi. Have you? It's good. It is good. Just put a little sugar in there. All right. A little I'll sugar put a little hot sauce in mine. <laughs> 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 a little more hot sauce. Oh. <laughs> sure is fun to reminisce. Oh, it is. So did you mostly eat at school or did you bring your lunch like did you have a favorite when i was younger like you said when we were younger okay in grade school i think we took our lunch okay and my mom used to make sandwiches and i had lunch i can't even remember what kind of lunch box i had i know i had something but i don't remember what it was which one it was mm -hmm. but yeah and so we would but mm -hmm. the thing about it was is that and i'll tell this real quick okay. but we had, had lunch boxes but then it was really cool if you brought a bag lunch so we started bringing bags. I don't know why. It's silly, isn't it? <laughs> Great song from Hope Darst. That is called Peace Be Still at Moody Radio at 715 on this thankful Thursday. Ken and Deb here. What are you thankful for? We'd love to hear about what you're thankful for or we're going to do an and or. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your favorite school lunch? Because it is National School Lunch Week. Mm -hmm. And so what was your favorite school lunch that they had? And I'm finding out that different people in, um, well, people in different parts of the country, I should say, had different Probably favorites. Probably different things, yeah. Yeah. Phone number is 800-221-9356. You can call or text. I don't ever remember having a taco until I was, like, in college. I don't think I, think, I don't remember, like, you having You never had a taco? Yeah, I don't remember like having. Like at home or anything? No. Really? No, it was just one of those things that. I don't, you know, it wasn't part of our menu. Really? My menu growing up. I love them now. But I wish wow. we would have had tacos for lunch because I don't think I ever had anything like that, huh. like for a school lunch. Okay. You know, it would have been much better than chop suey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which, thankfully, they don't make anymore, I don't think. <laughs> oh, some places do. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah. People uh, still eat uh, chop suey? I think so. Uh, my mom, one of my mom's favorite things, not for lunch, but mm -hmm. she would always make chow mein. Okay. She loved mm -hmm. chow mein. Mm -hmm. I didn't necessarily care for it, but I ate it anyway. <laughs> I like the hard little noodles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those. But I loved it when she took those noodles and she made put chocolate over them yes. and made them into the little cookie Oh, things. the haystacks. Oh, yeah. Is oh. that what they call them? I didn't know what they called them. I just called Love them yummy. Love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it's National School Lunch Week. Uh, what is your favorite school lunch? 800-221-9356. <sighs> oh, oh some, guy named Je some guy named Jeremy said they had Chick-fil-A day. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Wow. Did they just bring the Chick-fil-A sandwiches then? Yeah, they were the little single serve okay. containers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just your nice. basic Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. No real options, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see here. 
Oh, Joe was chiming off of uh, Heidi's and said, my dad makes chili mac, and that's kind of sweet. There you go. Oh, yeah. I remember that, too. That's something my mom made a lot of. <laughs> Jerry <chili> said, <laughs> haystacks? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard him called that either, Jerry, but I just remember they were good. <laughs> I called them chocolate chow mein noodles. <laughs> I didn't know what they were called. Well, they got the little things pointing out all over. <laughs> right? So they're like haystacks. <laughs> I've never know? seen brown hay before. <laughs> <laughs> we lived in well, the... I take that back. We lived... That's another story for another day. <laughs> we lived in the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're getting my point, Deb. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm getting my point and trying to avoid it. <laughs> Perverts back to Runza. I, I figured that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to have laughter. It is. Good, good <laughs> it medicine. Is. <laughs> hey, also coming up here still on the show today, uh we are going to have uh, Jeff Johnson. We're going to mm -hmm. talking about his book based on Psalm 91. That's coming up here in just a bit. The next hour we're going to talk with Mark Caleb Smith as well about, you know, the whole Supreme Court um, hearings and everything going on. We'll get his perspective on that. I wanted to remind people, though, that those interviews are also available after the show right. as well. So if you mm -hmm. watch this video after the show, um, then you can actually go to our website and, and hear those interviews, right? That's right. And so you can just find them at kenanddeb.org and find them on the day that, they, that we aired, aired them. them. Yep. And if it wasn't that, it was like yesterday, you can look under past programs and find the interview and yeah, listen to it. That's right. Anytime, on demand. So check that out. So we're going to have Jeff Johnson and Mark Caleb Smith all still coming up on the show today uh, that you can check out or later on our website. And I really like Mark Caleb Smith because he's like a professor at Cedarville University with a very knowledgeable understanding of the political process. Right. And it gives very us really balanced. Good Good, gives us some good Christian yeah. perspective. Mm -hmm. So looking forward to that coming up here. So still looking for your favorite school lunch. What was your favorite school lunch? You can still let us know either here on the stream by making a comment or you can call 800-221-9356. Lots going on right now in our country with the election coming up in less than a month away. And uh, also we've got, of course, the pandemic still going on. Lots of folks still trying to navigate through that and everything else. Um, but we want you to remember God is in control. That's right. Then we need to keep calm, put all of our trust in him, lay all of our worries at his mm -hmm. feet. And we've got some free resources on our website we'd love to have you take advantage of just to kind of get in the right perspective, right? That's right. It's under the title, Keep Calm, God is in Control, right at the top of our webpage at moodyradio.org slash quad cities. And you've got videos to watch. You've got blogs to read, articles to read, mm -hmm. um, things to listen to from the radio, audio that they picked out that has to do with the subject, really helping, helping us to focus on the Lord yeah. during these uncertain times. That's right. So go to moodyradio.org slash quad cities. And then right there at the top, there's a banner that says, keep calm. God is in control. Click on that, and it'll take you to those free resources. News update is on the way. Here's Lincoln Brewster, and there is no one like our God. So I think we're going to wrap up. Yeah, I think I was. I was just wanting to make sure. Uh, hamburger. Potatoes, Lori ah, said. Okay, had to get that, that in there. Chili dogs. Carolyn had said mm -hmm. chili dogs. She texted that in his too. So. And I think Charla mentioned hot dogs too. Okay. As being her favorite. There you go. Mm -hmm. Not those wink dogs, <laughs> but the. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us today on the uh, Mid Morning Show Coffee Break. We'll be back again Monday with uh -huh. the Mid Morning Show Coffee Break at 7 o'clock. So hope to see you then. Have and a great day. until then, have a great day.